Hey Claiborne, it's Friday. I'm sitting at Steph's desk today because even though her desk was messy right before we got started, my desk is still a mess. So I'm borrowing it to talk about the perfect sized Lego set. Because a few weeks back you put together a Minecraft set that was really really amazing but also pretty big and in fact all of the Minecraft sets are pretty big and it made me think about what is the perfect size Lego set to me. So. I went through mine and Steph's still way too large backlog of Lego sets and I gathered some that sort of represent the different sizes and I thought I'd talk about which ones Steph and I prefer. And as a challenge, Cleburne, two of the Lego sets in this stack belong to Steph. So I thought I might see if you could guess which ones they are. I think the smallest set that Lego sells is the poly bag. They're usually about 50 pieces and take no more than like 10 minutes to put together if you're going slow. They're also about the cost of two candy bars, and that's where they're sold at the grocery store. Maybe my favorite or only reason for liking to go to the grocery store. As much as I like the poly bags though, Claiborne, they're really hard to build a Lego collection off of because even though they're small and easy to display, they don't come with a whole lot of pieces. The only advantage of buying the boxes that are the next size up is that they stand on their own. Literally. Otherwise, they offer about the same number of pieces and about the same amount of time to put together. They don't offer anything unique or special in terms of either detail or theme. Claiborne, I don't have any of the $10 sets in my backlog, but not because I dislike them. I just think I've already put them all together. So I think this is a $20 set. It usually comes with about 200 pieces, and those pieces are usually used to make a cool setting or a vehicle in this one's case, and a minifigure too. I really like these sets because they only take about 30 minutes to put together, so I can put them together on a weekday afternoon. And they display really well on the extra counter and shelf space that Steph and I have. This set is a recent addition to our backlog, even though we haven't quite made it through all of the originals yet. The thing that I really like about sets at this size is that they come with a lot of minifigs. This one comes with six different minifigs. However, they do take a little longer to put together, like an hour, hour and a half. And they're also a little harder to display. This one comes with three different actual like components. It comes with the newspaper stand and the bus stop and the bus, which makes it a little harder to put on a shelf. I think this size set, Claiborne, is when I really start to think of Lego sets as large sets. This set comes with about 600 pieces, which puts it well outside of impulse buy range, which means I don't have many of these sets. This one is well over a year old, and I still haven't found the time to put it together. And even if I did, I wouldn't have space for it because we don't have much shelves or cabinets that can hold a big old Lego set. The thing that I really like about these larger sets, even the last one, is that they have lots of detail. Like, I love the greenhouse on this set. However, when the sets get to be this large, Steph and I are usually buying them as decorative pieces. Like for a holiday, like for the Christmas sets. Because at this size, we're really rearranging our home decorations around the Lego set. And also, our budget. Claiborne. I think the 200 to 400 piece Lego sets are the best. They give you a good selection of Lego blocks, they come with quite a few minifigs, and they don't take long to put together. And they're pretty easy to display. I wonder if you have any thoughts on the perfect size Lego set. I look forward to hearing from you next week. Over and out.